Good evening, I'm Ala Araby. Ali Chewy is off tonight. Construction is set to begin on part of Niagara Falls Boulevard in just a few hours. The project is meant to make this stretch of the road safer. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps tells us about the effect this will have on drivers over the next few months. Kevin Jensen has been walking along Niagara Falls Boulevard a lot recently. It's hectic. There's definitely a lot of traffic, a lot of congestion. Jensen is a disabled veteran. He's staying at a hotel on the boulevard. Well, I'm actually uh, I'm actually headed into rehab tomorrow, so yeah. Jensen's walk to rehab may take him longer than expected as road work begins Monday. So we're adding 104 street lights. That is going to start at the I-290 off ramp and extend all the way to Tondawana Creek. Road work on Niagara Falls Boulevard starts at 4 a.m. until noon. So if you're biking, walking, or driving, you can expect some delays in your morning commute. Motorists can expect that right lane to be closed during the duration of the project, only in the areas where they're going to be working. The project is part of a larger effort to enhance safety on the boulevard. Engineer Chris Schregel says adding more lighting is the first step. So that's intended to alleviate and reduce some of those pedestrian as well as vehicular accidents. This project will also bring pedestrian detours, meaning Jensen may have to take a different route to rehab, which he says might be difficult. Even with the traffic lights, you know, people are always struggling to get through because I've noticed the speed's pretty considerable too. To keep everyone safe, Captain Kevin Brown is asking that you slow down, be aware that there's a construction zone and there's a project that's taking place. There will be cones and signage to tell drivers and pedestrians the best way to navigate around the construction. The project will be going on for the next four months. In Amherst, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.